It's all good. <laughs> Hey, what's up, brother? I would start like, doing. I would start putting shit out on your own. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Dang, that's dope. Hi. Hey. Nigga Justin, I logged on earlier. That's dope. And I see he had momos. Then he went by D-Boy. And it's like, this nigga fan coming to the backyard store. He came to the city and tapped in and split some cash with us, man. I just want yeah, to thank man. you personally. Yeah. So he made it to the crib, just off yeah. support. Yeah. Been a yeah, real nigga. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's that's nice, man. Man. You come yeah. from Texas? Yeah, Houston. Yeah. Sheesh. So I first saw you at uh, Warehouse Live in September. Oh, September. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, and course, man, it was, it was funny because I, I was in the restroom. It was weird. Dude kind of awkwardly asked me, like, hey, what's up? How much you pay for your ticket? I said, I told him, you know, I gave him my, my price. I told him $80. He was that's like, okay. well, damn, that's crazy. I got two for 20. And I'm like, damn. I, but it, it was just on mine. So it was just kind of, he's like, now you, you fuck with him a lot more than I fuck with him. And then, like, since that day, it was just like, damn, I kind of now I get it. You know what I mean? Why you do the whole project. Right. Because everything. he might have been a nigga who was new, who don't yeah. know. And it's like, he still deserved that experience. And that yeah. should never deviate from you paying what you feel like is worth. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? And, yeah. you know, when I when I started doing yeah. that, you know, I, that's something I consider. Like, man, right. some people might be mad. If you need any help, less, but it's like, shoot me a text. Nah. Call me. Nah, yeah, and like the so niggas me, who, like, I'm real niggas good. who, like, no, I love the Russell and I know what he stands for and I know <laughs> what he represents. <laughs> Bro, we just, you helping the niggas you know out the, that, you the, know? The, you know what's the dopest thing for me, though, at your shows? Every show that I've been to. All right, so I'll go, and the person that I'll come with or I'll go by myself, it, they probably won't be all the way hip to you, right? Mm. But the whole time I'm there, I'm jamming, like, on, on the way to you, we're yeah. jamming you. I'm like, I'm going to get ready. Like, it's going to be like church. It's going to be just like <laughs> church. They don't understand until I get there. Then when we get there, everybody else is kind of, you can kind of see, like, you got a lot of people that will show up to your shows for the first time, and they won't. Like and I can see like that's the first time they see you. Mm -hmm. Your energy is different from the from the opening. They kind of like not understand all fish. They don't really understand. Yeah, you gotta win them. Then you jump into the stage and you just see everybody's faces just light up. Like damn, this this is different. Like then you just with them, interacting with them, telling them what song you want to hear. And I'm like, you see this dude's dope. Like it's not just Come the on. music. It's like the whole vibe. It's everything. It's just dope. Yeah, yeah. fire. Yeah. Where are you staying at? Uh, in uh, Oakland. Tight. Yeah. Man, nigga touched down in the bay and yeah, just yeah. And moved around a bit. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, That's just, beautiful, man. I'm, I'm grateful. In and just kept going. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, I, everything you said in your in your raps and everything kind of like it hits me. Like it's a little, it's different for you. You, you remember back in the days? I don't know if you ever when Joey Badass first started rapping, he had this little pro era. Yeah. You know, yep. Like Forty seven. Yep. And then J Cole came out in like the Dreamville, the Dollar in the Dream. Yeah. And, or or it was like the Dollar in the Dream tour, and it was a dollar dollar for the tour or whatever. All of that's, mm. that. It's like that type of vibe is what you bring, mm. and it's crazy that I could see it from like miles and years away like you, you just started like it's crazy you just started and i can see like that's the type of it you bringing somebody from me all the way from houston to you with Man. that type of vibes you know what i mean it's crazy that's fire as fuck it's crazy that's fire Hell yeah bro for anybody to take a trip to see a performance yeah and like you say trip. it's so much yeah. more it's so much more than a performance but i've never flown anywhere to see a concert mm -hmm. yeah you know true so like, yeah, yeah that's 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 very me, real. i'm like grateful a, you know when there'll be a lot of people community. go like a coachella or like mm -hmm. they'll go somewhere like you know somewhere's big something right. like that but they're not coming to to the purpose like it, it's not to somebody's backyard just <laughs> yeah it's crazy. Flight to i, I tell backyard. my mom my mom's like what are you serious like what are you doing like this is is it safe out there i'm like well it might not be safe, but you know, out here, yeah. it's the same. It's like this, every day is the same. same. I feel like every culture is the same. Like you just gotta minutes, I'm in the learn how to blend in and vibe with everybody. Like in Oakland, when I was down there, it was kind of crazy. Like, it's okay, felt like you just let me out. Mm -hmm. like everybody else would kind of be like, damn, what? Like, you, you good by yourself? Like, what? You, you straight to calling me? Like, you good? I'm like, Dude, it's like you chilling. It's just bro, the vibe. It's all about we, what you we bring. We go all over the world. Yeah. It's like, bro, everywhere is the same. Yeah. And it's humans. And yeah. as long as you approach it as a human and you treat people like humans, yeah. you're generally out of harm's way. Exactly. You know, there's right. some things in life you can't prevent, even yeah. if you was the best person in the yeah, world. Exactly. Like that's life. Yeah. But man, bro, that like, could have happened to you back home. Exactly. <laughs> yep. That's dope as fuck. Yeah. That you yeah. seem this worthy to even travel alone and experience, yep. bro. That's Oh, yeah, man, like, I got two kids back at home, too, so, like, I ain't, 
I don't want to get too personal, but it's like two, two kids, freshly divorced, so I'm kind of trying to like find myself again. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like I'm hitting the reset. I've been single for two years now, but it's like now I'm, I'm kind of growing. Like it's weird. Like and then like y'all just had a a, a talk in here actually about Ooh, addiction. That was one of the ones. <laughs> okay, so it's weird because like for the whole beginning of this month, I've been planning on stopping. Right. So since April, I want to stop smoking. But in my mind, I'm like I'm. I'm what you smoke? Uh, weed. No. Nah. But I'm like. To my capacity, like, oh shit, like, dope, like, what up? <laughs> 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 like, 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 give me a second. No, I feel like a cigarette. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, 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 oh shit, crack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, 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 so I just <laughs> smoke weed. But, like, uh, it just, you, I got to that, to the, where, like, the weed just stopped giving me, like, what it's supposed to do, I guess. Mm. You know what I mean? And I started to feel, like, in the beginning of the month, like, man, shit. You know how people say, like, sometimes for you to stop smoking, something got to happen to you. Or, like, you know, you got to catch a case. People get on probation. They stop smoking. Hmm. People say, like, you can never knock the weed off by yourself. And I'm like, man, that's Damn. a lot. Like, you can. It's all about, like, in your, it's, it's in your head. So, like, yeah. this whole month I've been preparing myself to, like, get off. But I wanted to come to the Bay and experience Cali weed, Cali bro, yeah. the whole time. So, I'm like, let me just, as soon as this trip is over, like, my flight back is... I full, love it. full, like just, I love it. and it's only just because, like, it's wow, not, it's not to like, it's not hindering my life or anything. Like, I pay my bills first. Take you just want to get better. I feel like you I just, just do better. more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's beautiful. Just that's beautiful, more. bro. Like, it don't always. Something doesn't always have to kill you for you to start improving yourself. Yeah. You know, and it's best to do it before it starts exactly. to kill you. You know, a lot of yeah. us wait till it's like, bruh, I'm a crackhead. Yeah. And now and it's now like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm there down me? and out and I can't. Yep, yep. Oh, you know, it's crazy, man. It's it's a lot of things that can happen in your life where it's like, you don't want that to happen for you to stop. And you want yeah. to see life for what it is before that happens. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm, just, I'm just feeling that 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 growth like it's, it's in my head i'm feeling it in my life like i'm trying to be a better father you came to the so right place had to come to the vibe get re- hit you the came reset to the right this is gonna be a good yep. reset yep. this is gonna be that's a good it. reset yep. that's dope as fuck yeah, man hell yeah it's, this wow here. this is dope hell yeah wow we're actually about to be back back in houston with Kane. i um, got those tickets too oh you did <laughs> yeah. i'm about to say i'm gonna get you yes oh, yeah support you girl. <laughs> everything you do yeah <laughs> yeah Bro, and that's that's why this shit bigger than data and analytics. Like yeah. on Instagram, you're a follower, but in real life, you're a human who really supports, yeah. show up, like explain. Yeah. Bro, that yeah. shit is different. Yeah, it's crazy. Off of, to think about it now, the analytics all off of Instagram video. That's how I found you. Jeez. What was it? What was like that um, first it was, a, it was It was uh, about a year and a half ago. Honestly, I think it was when y'all were like in the back of a truck. And wow. y'all had like a, a speaker in the back of the truck. Well, I was kind of doing the repost of it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's half like, of those. I, and from crazy. that, I just kind of like followed the music, everything you were doing at the time. And then Field Effect 2 was like my favorite album at the time. Like, and it's all old stuff too. We was just talking about that. It's all old stuff too. Then now you, I see your progress in your like in your music. It's different. Like mm. the, even Mike G, you know, people might not really think of that, but like. That's big, like to, to have your music connect with that man, and then you could hear from Field wow. Effect too, and the difference. I'm big on music, so like I'm on the keys, everything, everything. It's it's dope to hear the actual music come together. And That's why that shit is dope, man. That shit is dope. You know, I'm always um, I used to live still. Like every time when I make like, you know, like this shit with my G, yeah. I used to be conflicted because I'm like, damn, dude. Is people not gonna fuck with it because they so used to feel the fact or how it comes yeah, in? Yeah, but yeah. you know, he nah, ain't hearing you say it's like, nah, it's you dope. know, it's dope. It's dope because you know, J. Cole didn't stay one, one in one lane. I right. feel like you know, who that in the beginning, he found himself, right. he did what he had to do in the beginning, and then he knew there were some things he had to work on. I feel like yours was never like a, oh, I need to work on it, was just like a, let me, I, I want to do more, I want to do, I've done that. Let me hit this lane and let me now. And it was just the way that you were living every day. I could see how you just like, today I feel like making this. So, mm-hmm. And I, it's dope. You go into a studio session, they tell you what, hey, what you, what are you feeling? Man, just play whatever. <laughs> if, it don't, if it don't hit, we just not going, we, we just keep going. But don't, right. don't really ask because then it's not genuine. Yeah. You could tell every song that you make is like that. We made some cold shit today. Jeez. Where y'all at? We went to the, I've been doing these sessions at the grill. 
Um, oh, like I just announced, so I'm doing like this series where I just get in the studio and then I just invite different people with different producers and shit, stuff like different that. Producers, Damn, different producers, different artists, and just whatever we make, that's what we're gonna be Damn, driving. That's dope. How do you feel about um the level of output? Like how often we keep going? Music? So <laughs> I'm actually all in your YouTube comments too, telling you to no, stop. The yeah. moment where your dad's sitting right here, he's telling you like, hey, like this this shit, you got catalogs for for days, like that's that's what you want to hear. Like that's mm. that's the for a rapper to stay stagnant and only have an album a year or uh, two albums every every year. It to me is it, it's not it's not what the culture means. It's not what the music mm. means. You know what I mean? Like I feel like when those when the two greats were out, Tupac and Biggie were out, they were never. Oh, let's hold back. They were, when it was with East Coast and West Coast, it was just, just like kind of reminded me now, uh, Cole and, and I mean uh, Drake and uh, right. Kendrick. <clears throat> one of them dropped something. The next one got to go right, right back. It's not about the oversaturation. I feel like if it's good music and you're producing the good music and it's never less than than great, right. continue doing it. Continue doing it because if not, yeah. somebody like me may not see you later on it. They True, see, right? You know I mean? <laughs> right? That's the only way to keep growing. Sheesh. The way I look at it is like when you look back at all of that, how you started and how like the, the talks with your parents, like, you know, how you're growing and, you know, just how y'all sit in here. Free Game Friday, everything. When you look back at it, it's going to be like, damn. One more man story. We needed that to start this big, you know, the complete. The, the and you, you know what's crazy? That uh, addiction episode that we dropped been like, hella high on my YouTube now. Yep. Like it's getting the most comments and the yep. most engagement. And that was, you know, a few weeks ago and I've just gotten like, yep. man, let me just share these. Because yep. I was debating on um, how do you feel about us going behind a paywall for like things like that? Like if we were to do a monthly subscription, but offer based. Yeah. But it's like, these things are going to live here in our home. You know, yeah, versus, so I feel versus like on YouTube. That's dope too because you have a million plus followers, right? Out of a million of those followers, at least a at least a hundred thousand of us really, really fuck mm -hmm. with you like that. Mm -hmm. A dollar for that hundred thousand? Uh, come on now, like I a, mean, dollar? a year? A dollar? <laughs> right. Even like, if it's just a dollar. On, like I, I mean, I can't even make that in a year. And I'm just a regular average Joe, nine to five type of guy. Like come like just a dollar? Wow. But even then, that's all it's offer based. I'm a, I'm definitely not gonna pay a dollar and Buddy next to me definitely not gonna pay a dollar. It's always gonna be greater than a dollar. Especially because the niggas who are going all the way to a subscription service, they fuck with you we way already, more than we, to spend a yeah. dollar. I was waiting on even to download the app. Like I'm going to their website. Like man, when's it even gonna uh, drop the app? When's it even gonna drop the app? When they drop the app, I'm like, damn, that's dope. Now I can actually go through the app, pay the subscription. It's like that. That's that's dope. Wow. I feel like I get closer to you that way. Um, yeah. Fact. Because I mean, man, and look, the power of manifestation. It's like, yeah. man, look where you landed. For us yeah. to not know each other, and it's like, no, I just fuck with this nigga enough. He changed my life, and I'm a support. It's Dude. just you can't beat that type of organic can't. shit. That's yeah. the only way it happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, the only and, way. And it happens. No, no other. And if it does happen a different way, sooner or later you see through, mm -hmm. the, through the cracks. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Sooner or later, right. that's with any relationship. You know, like you start off in your relationship, it, it may sound and look good from the outside. A couple of years later down the road, you can see it was hidden, hidden animosity. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? It's it's crazy. Jeez. It's crazy. This is fire. That's Dude, crazy. I, 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 this episode going up. <laughs> you know, this is a guy here too. Like that's crazy. Right? That's what I was telling yeah. you last night. Like, bro, you're always open. What did you say? If if you if something's always, happening, then something's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's, You're always that's crazy. Open. I have a a friend back home. I, I put him on to you too, and he's like, "Dude, like you and him, y'all, you talk so much, and you talk just like him." After watching his videos, y'all conversations will be dope. And it's crazy. Hey, look, like, look, <laughs> look, 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 look. Bro, that's gonna see you on fun. the YouTube. Yeah, and my daughter. Oh God! Man, my daughter's gonna love this. Uh, uh, when we went to Houston, I mean, when y'all went to Houston, we y'all did the Slim Thug uh, uh, yeah, show yeah. out there. She seen she seen me in the front, fanning out. Right? She's dying and laughing, and in the back, she's stopping. Play it again. Play it again. <laughs> What's your daughter's name? Uh, Giselle. Giselle. Yeah. We that's outside. Dope. He made yeah. it. He yeah. said. Yeah. 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 That's dope. How man. old is she? She's eight. 
Tight. Wow. Tight. That's yeah. beautiful. I showed her the uh uh the hyphy twenty twenty of a little girl yeah. in the back. I told her she was eighty two. I'm like, see, it's like different don't ever think like that little girl's eight years old. Limitless. Mm -hmm. Dude, like my Limitless. daughter's eight. Limitless. And I seen her the way she, her confidence, like every day I, when I drop my daughter off every day, I tell her, Hey, you're beautiful. Come you're on. strong and you're confident. Like that's what you gotta teach the little girls these days. Come and on. for her to like she just jumped up on the stage with all the confidence in the world and just think about it, man. For you. Hmm. For right, right. Dude. That's and you, you know what's crazy? So organic about that moment. It's like she um, I have a moment on YouTube of her when she was probably about six, six, damn, from an earlier show, Sprinkly Main, and they just been kind of supporting. And she came back, and it's like that moment grew. And then I ended up finding out they play pickleball, and I play pickleball. So we've been just the past two weeks just playing pickleball damn, and shit, in. and just bro, damn. it just grows. So that's organically, dope, that's how it flows. That's dope. Dude. And now she's like a good friend of yours. Bro, and she like, her life that's dope. is different a bit. Like, you know, and just the energy around yeah. she's just like a great kid with yeah. great parents and just seeing how that moment helped her, her. you know? Yes. Like, yeah. man, it's going to be dope just seeing her it's journey dope. now. Yeah. Man, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Because it's, it, like I said, it's different stages in life, mm -hmm. you know? And Seeing her and seeing my daughter, it's like, it's it's, it's literally, literally like it's limitless. Like you can go anywhere, you can do anything, Man. anything like that you want to do or however you want to stand, however you want to you want to go play you want to go play piano, go play piano. No one else plays piano. That's that's different. That's what you want. Go like support that all the way. But it's the things where we start to like fall into the phones and we start to do the things mm -hmm. that everyone else starts to do. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it gets sour, you know what I mean? Right. Even with the in life in general. That's why you're so like, to me, it's refreshing. Nobody else is doing it the way you, nobody else is going on YouTube and doing what you're doing. No one is producing right. as much as you're producing. No one is like doing it the way that you're doing it. Like, it's, it's dope. So Man, it's, it's refreshing. and it's so crazy because the industry has been and was in like a state. That's why I kind of really love the Drake and Kendrick shit because the positive about it is they're showing people that that oversaturation shit ain't, bro, fresh food, fresh yeah. food. Yeah. Like yeah. it ain't no limit to how much you could put out. Yeah. If it's that shit to you and it feel like it, yeah. ain't no limit to that. You yeah. And that's beyond music, that's life. life. It's no limit to how much great shit you could do if you choose to do it. Like you get to wake up every day and like, I can create whatever I want and bring it to life if I if want to do that. To. Yep, yep. Because you could say it too. You could feel it, but it, it's all about your, your hustle, you your grind. It. You got to go out there and do it too. You know what I mean? Like, no one will go around the bay and do, and go around states doing it the way you do it. And, dude, you went to Texas, Dallas, and Houston twice. Yeah. Like that, that back to back, that was crazy. I'm like, like it's just straight hustle. You want to use it? We uh, we load in tomorrow at eleven. If you want to come a bit early, because I usually stroll before like the yeah. show and shit, and you just come. Yeah. See sound check and shit and just Hell stroll yeah. with us. Yeah, that's dope. I yeah. was actually telling uh, what what's your name? Thing? Ja 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 Jamila. Jamila. Yeah. Yep. I met her at Momo's this morning. I Bro. told her yeah. It's, so I was I came after Momo's. I drove around Vallejo to see like you know where I was gonna park, and I had to hit her up. She, we were. Already shooting the shooting the Texas back and forth, and I told her, like, hey, man, I don't even know where I'm gonna park in. Hey, park here. This is where I stay. You know, that's my wow. name. And I'm like, hey, shout out dope. to me, Jamila. The reason I reached out because I seen the video, and I'm like, man, I gotta tap in. He really man. in the city showing yeah. love. That's what we do when we go to cities. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like we yeah. go. I'm gonna go here, tap in here. Yeah. So you really should. He with the D boys because the vlog we did from the video yeah. was like, mm. bro, turkey you, wings were sold out, but I still ate. Hey, got you. Yeah, yeah, did you try the shrimp? Uh no I got the uh what I got the ribs yeah the yeah. ribs Dang. and the uh the sweet chili of uh, chicken or something Wait, like yeah. that yeah yeah man it was it was good it was good the, the food out here is different I love it out here yeah man that's beautiful as fuck yeah man it's crazy out here. It, it's it's that I'm here and I watch this every day all day <laughs> and the same like it's crazy this is crazy. Legendary, so, legendary. Man, thank thank you for for inviting me out here. Bro. Of course, it really, it really made my yeah. trip made everything. Come on, let me let me reimburse you a bit for your travels, man. Let's oh, get up tomorrow. Man. You and y'all two <laughs> together with him to the side. It's like y'all, 
y'all the machine behind the man. Like without y'all two, it wouldn't be anything too. Same thing with Mike G. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Play Doh. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Uh, dang, what's the DJ's name? Swaggy, Swaggy, Swaggy B. Swaggy B. Swaggy B. Man, like without y'all, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be good company. Like I uh, <laughs> I really appreciate y'all too because it it really brings out him more. You know what I mean? With the support of his friends, just like, uh, oh man, dope, man. What thank the hell? <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate dope, it, man. man. That, that level of support should be like rewarded and commended. You know, it's Damn. like, I'm able to do shit like this because people like you keep showing up, even when, you Damn, know. That's fucking dope, been, man. Bro, it's like, necessary. It ain't, it ain't even, it's not, it's, it's just all off of. Love, love, like I, I really fuck with your music. The what, what it does for me when I'm down, what it does for me when I'm up, when I do, when I do good in life, I'll put some live y'all that you put on. Yeah, you know what I mean. I go put on the link up or something like that. But, yeah. but when I'm feeling real, uh, I'm gonna go put on I'm the hidden ass box. We got some big stuff on. like that. Admirable, admirable cut, cutlery. Yeah, that one right there is crazy. Like it's just that, that type of stuff is like. It's not really the, it's the messages inside of every song that you put to, like, it really, they like, play it back Come two, on. three times. Yeah. You know, and if, you, if you're in my car, you might as well get used to it. If not, <laughs> hey, because that's all we listening to. At the house, that's all we, vlogs, days in the life, just, that's, it's that's getting it. you through it. That's it. It's getting you through every it. Every day. Beautiful every day, man. Yeah. It's crazy. And that's all I was just telling them, too, like, it would. Without the support from them to you, it's like they need you. You know what I mean? Just like J. Cole needed his Dreamville, you know, mm -hmm. just like Joey Badass needed the 47. Like in Pro Air, like everybody that, Play that was that was played their role was there through it all. And it and it mm -hmm. felt like the person who was on the outside looking in as a fan is like, even if you've never been a part of a basketball team or like a football team or you know, any type of team sport growing up, looking back into the music and listening mm. to them and watching them do it is dope because it's like damn like I, i'm a part of that team too I, I, yeah like i'm here yeah. with them like i i do everything they do i'm listening to everything they do hey. it's crazy <laughs> that shit is so dope hell yeah you good that company so too dope. yeah that's what they that's dope that's dope that's what they told me at momo too uh i was like now i feel like i'm at home I'm like you you are like oh this is this is it like, you are yeah mm -hmm. it's dope Damn. That's crazy, man. Jeez. Yeah. That's crazy. He gets the experience even when you're not in the space. Like that's the power you had on the city. Man. You go to Momo. Like you would have felt like home. that whether you got to come to my crib or not. Oh fuck yeah. And that's man. The, that's man. like that's <laughs> like bro. Without this, I, going to Momo's, it was made was already. It. And mm. it was raining, and everything kind of felt like gloomy. Like check it out, the day was crazy because like it was gloomy. It was raining all through the day. Right. And I went to Momo's in the morning. It's cold, right? I'm like, dang, it's like somebody's just wishing on my downfall. I can't see the beauty in the day. Like, what's going right. on? I'm, I'm leaving. Then that sun came and, out. And I'm like, dude, like, it's beautiful out here. Like, it, they trying to hide the beauty. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> I'm coming, coming back to Vallejo because I had went back to Oakland to the hotel. But when I came back, dude, like, it was so beautiful. I, I'm telling, texting my brother, and I'm like, man, we need to come back out here. Like, we could just come out here to Vallejo, you know, see a, see wow. a show or something. He's like, yeah, let's do it. As I'm texting him, I look up, and it's it's like manifestation, dude. Like, I'm like, man, it's beautiful out here. I text him, boom, send it. And there's a damn rainbow on top of the hills in between. The, like, <laughs> coming to Vallejo. And I'm like, look, the goat at the end of the mountain, like, it's it's just like manifestation. Not even just just... Off of Jimmy and hit the corner. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Let's let's come. Yeah, let's come. Hit the corner. It's like, look at it. Like it's it's dope. Yeah, get a get us a date and and your next one on us. Yeah, damn you and your brother. Cool. I got you for two tea. You hey. gotta bring your daughter too, though. Oh yeah. You gotta you gotta bring them yeah, down. Yeah. 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 That'd be dope. Wow. Yeah. When I see her too, when, well, when she seen y'all, uh, we're y'all were vlogging, going through the cars. She was crying at everything. She was she didn't really understand like who you were at the time. She just seen the camera. She seen she seen y'all. She was crying, being a dollar, being being right. a hero. She seen you on the on the stage, and that was her first. She came up to me like, "Daddy raps. Like how how does he do it?" I'm, 
pay attention. Like, mm-hmm. look, like, pay attention. Stay in tune. And it's dope, dude. Like, she, now she's understanding. She's watching your videos. She's like, just from Houston. Like, that's just tight. Just thug show. She's, she's into you, too. That's, like, and you know what's dope? Like, those are on YouTube. Like, you saying, man, I see myself in the videos. Like, we don't even be thinking about that. Like, we're docking our shit and we're yeah. performing, but there's people at them shows who are like, now that's I'm history. That. Yeah, I'm a part of that shit too. Yeah. Yeah, and see, and, you, and, and look at the numbers in the crowd. Like, oh, it didn't look too too pop. It didn't look like one of my coworkers, like, hey, it didn't look too pop. And I'm like, dude, there was a hundred, a good 150 people that were around him. And it felt way more than a Drake concert. Because you gotta be in there. Dude, like inside of that is different. Like that, that yeah. is it's different. And then when you start to see somebody like me tell friend of a friend of a friend, now you got ten more people, they go to a show and now they can't stop. Like that's exactly what right. it is. It's exactly how it's gonna keep growing. Before you know it, you're gonna look into the crowd, you won't be able to do that shit no more. <laughs> you get in there? Y'all gonna have to pull him back in because he gonna want to jump in the crowd. He's still gonna, gonna go. go. He's gonna try yeah, to go. That nigga still gonna go. You know? <laughs> That's right. And then I can see in the crowd too, like uh, the I guess Slim Thug had his own security personnel. <laughs> and they yeah. were like in the video, and even like there, I'm standing next. I'm I'm trying to get in the in the little circle, and you he the security guard steps kind of like in the way to protect me. You know, you kind of like hey what. Watch out, like I got it, but it's it's just that no one really then the security guard kind of backed up like okay, they like, don't know, see, right? Like, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta adjust like, too. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Special. Damn, it's dope. Yeah. Tomorrow, Damn. please. Come yes, sir. Early. Yes, early. Yes, sir. Early. Damn, this is dope. Legendary. Damn. Jeez. Thank y'all for inviting me, man. Man, thank you yeah, for pulling tight. up. Damn. Right? I give you a hug, dog. Nice to meet you. Damn. This shit don't Damn. happen nowhere else. No, this hip hop. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Nah, this is good company. Nah, this is good company. It's different. It's different. Good Lord, man. Y'all take me, brother. Wow. 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 This shit so hip hop. That was tight as fuck. This shit so hip hop. That was crazy. Real it just you. you don't get this nowhere else. You don't get this nowhere else. Ever. And to like for people to be able to like bear witness. Because if the next artist coming up, like Mally gonna be a lot, he gonna be a bit different than these niggas. He had it really? his you gonna be a bit different than these niggas. For real. Like this gonna become the norm. It's like, yeah, they not fans, they humans who fuck with you mm-hmm. and they life. And they're the reason why you get to live your life the way you get to live it. They're part of the reason. <laughs> but I mean, right? like if a nigga like him didn't go above and beyond and support and believe in the vision and you know, right. like he said, he talked to a nigga who did two for ten. And he was like. Well, shit. <laughs> I did eighty, and I'm proud of that. Right, and that's the whole reason why the why the vision worked. That's literally. That's the vision, and out. That was it. That was it. That was the whole thing with merch, with everything. Mm. The people who fuck with me gonna fuck with me, and the people who don't fuck with me even gonna fuck with me because I gave them a chance to fuck with me, and once they mm. fuck with me, they gonna fuck with me. <laughs> and that's why <laughs> niggas can't. Fuck with me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you heard? Sheesh. You heard? And you do shit like this. And it's like, if you thought the nigga fucked with you before. <laughs> and it made lifetime. People- lifetime now. It's like, no, that's and lifetime. It make people fuck with you even more because it's like, the po- that's what I was saying. The possibility of it happening makes people like go for it. Like a Troya being able to come here, and now Troya is your dog. You go to Ed, like North Carolina, you pull up on her and shit. Like you do that so often, people know. Like if I show up and I support, it's a possibility. I end up in this nigga's living room, right? And it won't happen <laughs> for everybody, but it's a possibility but for it's a everyone. Possibility. You feel me? Like 
And that's the thing, is like we just got back from the school. <laughs> Crazy. You be so open. It's a great trait to have. I'm open to the possibility. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I feel like these are the moments that do the best because people have never seen shit like this happen. Right. You know, it, it just don't be existing. Let me get that call. Mm -hmm. 